the car in the wall here. Randy Castle, that same area of the racetrack, we saw Michael McDowell have problem. He didn't look like he had any left for a tire issue, just. I tried to put some front brake in it. Oh, sounds like the. Never admit that. Maybe. The, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, come on, never admit it. Like, <laughs> what kind of. No, like, you don't know if that's what caused it. Actually. So just keep that, yeah, yeah, just get keep a that to yourself for a while. <laughs> they'll find, they could find a broken part or something. <laughs> I mean, I've heard it all. Yeah. Well, it is something that is broken now, so you don't know if it broke before. You can see, Man. wow, it was a violent crash. Well, okay, so he said he tried to put some front brake into it. Let, let's talk about that, right? So he, he is making an adjustment to help the way the car is driving. Maybe he feels like that it, you know, he's burned. May, Maybe he's making that adjustment because he feels like he's got too much rear or the fronts are getting weaker as they get heat in this practice. The rears are starting to, he's getting, getting that wheel hop or, or locking up the rear brake. So, hey, look at the two excess we've had in practice. First one here, left rear tire cut down with Mike McDowell. Hard contact with the wall early. The car on fire there, Michael gets out. Left rear tire gone. And then the Starcom tree into the fence with Landon Castle driving it. That's their second car. Kyle Weatherman's driving the other car, number 99. 